Alright guys, so here we are for a very, very different video. This is actually going to be my first ever video on a Seto Corsa. And what better challenge to do than driving the Ferrari Future F1 concept car that's been doing the rounds on YouTube lately. So I thought I'd have my go at this car just for the first time and, um, you know, give a, give a set of course or a bit of a go. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, here we are driving around Spa. Now just be aware, I'm not putting in any laps at all. No practice of this thing. So uh, you're going to get my first impressions of this amazing futuristic F1 car. Just just look in the cockpit as we're sitting here. It just looks incredible. So um, I don't know what, what I, I honestly do not know what else there is to say. But let's have a drive. So we're just gonna we're gonna set off in this video today. I'm gonna get my uh, oh oh okay. I need to uh, get used to this car, of course. That's why I'm only in time trial at the moment. But a little bit later on in this video, we're going to go up against AI. And we're going to see how we fare in a race. So here we go, going up our rouge for the first time. Oh, <laughs> this is incredible. This is literally amazing. We are going 300 kilometers an hour. Only halfway down the Camel Straight. But uh, we'll test out the braking performances of this car. Uh, it's not great at the moment. I think my what usually happens is when I plug in my uh, wheel for the first time is the brake pedal isn't fully um, calibrated with the game, so it'll take a few heavy braking distances for me to sort that out properly. But uh, what an awesome car this is so far! Or oh, oh, keep it off the wall. Keep it off the wall, Ben. Wait. I think I've stalled it. Okay, I do believe I need to use a clutch to to take off in this thing. Apart from that, I can just fly off and do whatever. Wow, I'm gonna leave a link to this mod down in the down in the description. You guys can go check this out and uh, race it for yourselves. But this thing is simply incredible. You can see on the dashboard there, it's actually a rear view camera. Oh, that's that's that was that's a bit dicey. I, I've. Not only am I getting used to this car, which is a mod, it's incredibly made, I've got to say that much, but I'm getting used to this handling mod, I'm getting used to this game, and the force feedback of my wheel on this, because this is totally different to F1 2015. This is supposed to be a sim, and it is coming to consoles in April, I believe, to Xbox One and PS4, so you guys can play this game for yourself once that game comes out. Uh, later on in the year. You can bet your ass that I'm going to be making videos on this on the console. Possibly doing a career mode if you guys want to see it. The, the traction on... Oh, see, I was about to say, the traction in second gear, the, I don't know what it is, the torque, the horsepower, whatever it is, it is just an absolute animal in the low down revs. But um, I was actually expecting this thing to have a little bit more downforce. Um, than what it currently has. You'd, you'd think that maybe a concept car in the future, you know, the aero efficiency would be a lot better, but I think this thing is more geared towards straight line speed. But in saying that, I haven't tinkered with the setup at all. It's just a stock setup, so it could be very unoptimized, if that makes sense. But I just want to drive laps with this thing. I just want to continuously drive and just drive laps on end and just get a feel for this car. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, <laughs> that's scary. That is so so scary. Um, if I'm going to do anything, I'd probably increase the uh, the front wing, maybe a bit of rear wing as well, just to uh, increase the stability. While I'm very new to this car, that's about the only thing I change at the moment. If you guys want to see more videos on this, then let me know. I'd be perfectly happy to do more videos, not only on this car, but of a Seto Corsa. I could really get into this game. I say game very loosely. It is a sim, after all. But if you want to see that, if you want to see a career mode or anything like that, then make sure you smash that like button, and I'll get onto it very soon. Oh, it's catch it! Catch it! We didn't catch the fish, lads. It got away. I want to go back to my uh, video I did the other day. I'll link it in the description. It's, um, the talking about F1 2016 and beyond. How I briefly touched upon uh, DLC cars, 
uh, or something of that nature. Something like this would be the perfect example. What happened? Is that the end? Okay, this car would be the perfect example of something that you could introduce into an F1 game that would really spice up the game and give it a bit of longevity. Here's an outside shot of the car, as you can see as I'm talking, of just how beautiful this thing looks. There's a bit of dirt on it, but uh, we'll ignore that. But um, don't exactly know what's going on here. I think that is the end of our time attack session, so it's pretty good timing. I was just about ready to jump into a race anyway, so we'll see how we go, and um, hopefully... We don't write this thing off. Here we see a Ferrari F1 concept car in its natural habitat. In just a second now, we'll see it fire up into life. Anytime now. There it goes. Look at the... <laughs> Look at the rubber we just laid down there. Smoke going everywhere. I just want to get a feel for the replay cameras as well on this game. And you can see my very first lap on Assetto Corsa in probably one of the most demanding cars you'll ever drive. Watch as we fly up our Rouge, 8th gear, 300 kilometers an hour. That's the best part of 180 miles an hour for you metric people. But uh, just look at that thing on the road, it's so aggressive, so mean looking. Fucking planes flying over my house, I apologize about that. But yeah, just look at this thing, it looks incredible. Not so much when you take it off the track. Better counter steer there, that's exactly what you want. But this thing just looks so menacing. Menacing to drive as well, as it's a bit of a handful. You, you definitely can't pick this thing up straight away and drive it, unless you're used to the Assetto Corsa uh, handling model. But I feel like I've been rambling on so much, so enough talking from me. Uh, we're going to delve into some more talking, but this time we're actually going to race against other cars. So here we are for the race guys, we are doing a 20 man race, a 21 car race around Spa, the track we were just driving around and uh, hopefully I'll be starting nearer towards the back. Um, the difficulty level is on 90% so that's the, the AI difficulty level and I do believe I'm running with no assists as well so I like to give myself a little bit of, ch of a challenge in these uh, uh, one off sort of videos so hopefully that can come through in this video here. And um, as you can see, that there's all the opponents. I'm not too sure what I'm doing in this. Kimi Raikkonen. We're racing against Kimi Raikkonen, Nicky Lauda. Anyone else that I really recognize in that list? If you guys recognize anyone that I didn't, then let me know down in the comments. But um, yes, here we go. First race on Assetto Corsa. Let's see how we go. This could be an absolute disaster. I, am, I'm, I don't have any expectations. I just want to finish. Five red lights, six red lights, and away we go for the Belgian Grand Prix in F1 2020. Let's go. Into turn one, we'll try and take it nice and easy. I don't know what these AI cars are going to be like, so let's take it nice and easy, nice and slow, on the power nice and early, and gradually, which is more what I meant. But uh, I don't know what position we're in, so we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to roll with it. Up our Rouge for the first time. We want to minimise the mistakes in this race. We want to make no mistakes. And if we can come away without any damage. Someone is on my left hand side. The straight line speed there from these guys is real. I think I got hit up the arse there. I'm not too sure. I can't really look behind me. So I don't know if there's a button assigned for that. But it, in, typically in simulators there is no look behind button. So hey ho. Let's go. Oh back end. Do not do this to me. Do not. Do not. Do not. I've been... Let's try that again, shall we? Does anyone know what kind of um, engine is in this car? Like, if it, is it a V12 or something like that? I'd be curious to know, but away we go for take number two then. Hopefully this time we can be much cleaner. That's not been a great start. A little bit of squeezing happening into turn one. The, the bumblebee looking car has made me spin. Come on, Ben, we can do this. Six red lights. And away we go once more. The furthest F1 can come in about 10 years as they add an extra light to the starting procedure. So the Crofty has something different to say. But either way, into turn one. Oh, that is terrible. That is so bad. I am so sorry. Let's see if we can beat Kimi Raikkonen. If we can just get in front of him for one or two corners, I will consider that a success. 
So anyway, into our Rouge, I had to brake there as the car in front clearly didn't know how to take our Rouge flat. But uh, either way, we'll try and use the slipstream to our success if we can. But I have a feel I have a feeling I got some damage. And also the setup probably isn't as good as these guys around me. I feel like these guys may have a little bit more straight line speed. So we'll have to make up for it in the corners. Guy out my inside. And we jar no, sorry. I think I've jumped into this car a little too early. You know, most people, normally they'll do a few, like an hour's practice or something before they jump into a competitive race. But me, no, I like to just do five minutes of practice tops and then I like to throw myself in the deep end. So, it makes for an entertaining video, but it also means I have a lot of incidents and crashes. I'm taking like an arcade style approach to a racing game, to a simulator. And quite often, it does not work. You know that? Do you know what that was? We had some. We had some kind. Of, <laughs> we had some kind of alignment uh, issue, and then the car just got so quick that it, it couldn't. Have, the stability wasn't there, and it couldn't keep it in a straight line anymore. That's interesting. This has been a better start. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, I can't really tell what position I'm in, unless it says it very faintly on the wheel. I don't want to concentrate on that too much. We've got some yellow flags up ahead. Someone has gone off. They've essentially parked it on the outside approach of our Rouge. So, uh, there you go. We've got two red Ferrari. Wow, I've said two red Ferraris. Literally every car is a red Ferrari in this race. But, uh, anyway. Into Lacon. We've got hit up the side from uh, the Ferrari. And uh, we've dropped two places. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, overcorrected. We overcorrected. Listening to them whiz past like that, they sound like V12s. I don't know, uh, V10s possibly? I don't know, that's why I asked the question. Oh, someone's gone off again. And, oh my! Where, oh my God! That guy's gone cartwheeling. I need to see that on the replay after we finish this race. But that, surely he didn't survive that. There is no way you can survive a crash like that. All right, manage the wheel spin. Drive. Oh, that was Nicky Lauda. Wow. As if he hasn't had enough big crashes in his career. I mean that in like the most respectable way possible. But poor Nicky can't catch a break. Alright, so that's that's us out of the Belgian Grand Prix. Let's um I wanna have a look at I wanna see the replay of Nikki's crash, because that was that was something else. So here's us getting off to a blinding start into turn one. I think we picked up about ten positions, maybe even more. And then just keep your eyes at the top of our rouge. Oh, he gets a hit and then he rejoins onto the track. And then you can't that is a perfect Oh Nikki. And his car actually disappeared. It not only did it cartwheel, but it kept cartwheeling over the barriers and out into the fourth dimension or something. I've never seen anything like that. I'm calling it now. This is going to be the last go. If I can't get it, then that's it. That's going to be video over. Away we go. The pos well, it's definitely going to be the final time. Easy on the power. First and second gear are very deadly in this car. We've got off to a very nice start. We may sneak it up the inside of this yellow and red car. I'll leave him space on the inside just in case. And we've survived. Job done. Now the tricky part is actually surviving this middle sector. It seems like the curbs are not very friendly towards this car. There's someone up my inside. Bit of smoke brewing from a car in front. I'm going to take this nice and slow. Nice and slow as people continuously pass me due to my cautiousness. We're going about this in the Max Chilton way. Slow and, slow and steady wins the rate. I'll just stop talking now. Here we go. Now we build up some speed. The downforce begins to come into effect now through that corner. And uh, building speed now. 
as we head to Blanchemont. This is going to be incredible. Let's see how fast we can take this and hopefully stay on the track at the same time. Yeah, it's not so bad. It just feels more on edge because the force feedback in my wheel is very, very, very strong. Let's put a lot more force into this to, to get the car around these corners. But I'm loving this so far. So that's lap one done. We have actually completed a lap cleanly. That's the key word, cleanly. I need to be a little bit more braver under brakes. Everyone seems to mug me coming into the heavy braking zones. But I also need to get more confident with the throttle. That's the thing that's actually killing me at the moment. I seem to just... I uh, can't quite get the throttle balance right at the moment. I keep either losing the back end or I'm just not quick enough in putting the throttle down out of corners. I just keep getting mugged. So finding that balance is definitely going to take a little while and it's not going to be in today's video. I'm going to go off and I'm going to do some practicing, but um, I, ho I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video, guys. I certainly have. Something like completely different to a regular F1 video, and I hope you guys can sort of appreciate um, this mod for what it is. It's a concept car for the future of F1. Um, it's something completely different to what I've, I've driven before, and Assetto Corsa seems to be a really good platform for that. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos. And let me know if there's um, any more Assetto Corsa videos you want me to try because I'm definitely open to not only playing this game in my private time, but I also want to do some um, recording of videos, whether it be different mods, uh, different cars, different tracks, because this game is coming out on console in a few months and I definitely want to ramp up the videos on this in the, the weeks, months to come um, for that release. So. That's been this video for today. Uh, I'm sorry about the extensive rambling in this one, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon.